Welcome to another video of Fears to Fathom. This is going to be episode 3, Carson House. Anyway, let's play. Let's do this. Episode 1 and 2 did decently well, so we're going to continue on with the series. If episode 3 also does well, we'll continue on until we're done with the game. My name is Noah. I'm 20, a 20 year old uh, male from Midwest. I have no idea why I'm, I am uh, sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday, as the trauma detected a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends uh, with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he uh, could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch his house, watch the house, and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. But this is not a house, good news. Employees only. Oh my goodness. This guy is playing a uh, laundry simulator or something. Meow, look at me go. Gotta go fast, baby. Let's just leave this guy. Bleach? What? Where did you put it? Where did I put what? Where is the bleach? I need bleach. What the bleach are you talking about? Who are you? I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. You still think you can do this? How long did I ooze off for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? I got this. Uh, Roy called and said that the keys should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know that I'm only in it for the snacks. Goodbye, Daddy. Bye, have a great time. And so it begins. So, backyard. Under the fake rock. Oh, it's a dog I'm hearing snoring, I was about to say. Can we pet the doggy? Nice. There's a rock. Hey, we got the key. And we're in. Do not disturb for any reason. Well, there's no one in here. I had to pee. <laughs> I 
too lazy to model the garage. Okay, that's the front door. Keep that shit locked, dude. Bro, you're being missed, dude. Aim a bit lower. Oh my goodness. Kids these days. And stand closer, unless you're an elephant. Nailed it. We got a text me a text message. Press escape. Uh, thanks for taking up the job, okay? I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Uh, Mr. Carson? I just had the weirdest dream ever. Talking to Evelyn Cooper here. My bad, it's Roy. I uh, got this contact from Walter. Rook is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure. Haha. <laughs> He's my dad. Okay. So... We have a notebook. Bottle of water. Uh... I wouldn't have asked for anyone uh, if it wasn't for Zeke. That boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him uh, and the house. Now that I'm here, uh, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Ooh, the basement. Uh, you're a lifesaver, kid. Uh, speaking of him, I wanted to remind you, uh, it's his uh, it's his dinner time, if you could get him some dog food from the basement. Right on it. Okay. Dude, I can't see anything, though. I almost forgot, I apologize for those lights in the basement. Uh, you can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. Storage room. Here we go, found the stairs. I realized that the house was bigger than ours. Okay, this doesn't look like no storage room. Got another bathroom here. I was done with it. This looks like a storage room. Bro, so your storage room also don't have a light? Goodness, bro. You you clearly need to do some maintenance, Mobri. This music gives me chills. I got chills. And they're multiplying. Where are them dog food at, bro? Please don't tell me I need to go to the shops or something. What the? Huh. I'm in the basement, right? This this is this is a basement. Ah, oh. okay. Found the dog food. Okay, kitchen. Nice.
So... That's the front door. No, this is the front door. Yeah, this is the back door. I got chills again, dude. back into the house. Hey kid, I uh, heard that Walter, you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, uh, you got a whole security system set up here? Yo, Roy, are you gonna talk to me, or... Are you I have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. I uh, don't want anything happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. Where is your computer, though? So, let's run to the expensive equipment room. You want me to use your laptop? Doggy is still eating. Alec Carson, Alec Carson 5387, Alec Carson 5387. Can we find his computer, I think? Oh, it's a capital A. Five, three, eight, seven. Welcome. Critical error. Uh, free trial for a limited period. full protection antivirus 96.com that that seems safe it's nothing else i can do it's like windows 97 dude 98 perform a full scan rainbow os Security has, th uh, okay. So we have a Trojan. <laughs> Remove it. Thank you. 
Uh, tell that to my kid, uh, but thanks. I'll drop, uh, I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. It was some Trojan. I'd like, uh, I'd recommend that you only download, uh, softwares from trusted websites. Uh, the left side now. Uh, just had a weirdest dream. Oh, what was it about? Uh, weird. Reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Haha, <laughs> hold on. these ads buy some hands so buy his nightstand his money then we have to go buy some groceries uh, for your trouble uh, get something for yourself as well it's on the house Should I not leave the flashlight? I think I should. Hey, you can take Alex's bike. Uh, it's outside the garage. Dude, are we going to find this house again? Oh, it teleports us. Nine twenty-two p.m. In real life, there is no way I would go to the shops at this late. Okay, let's have a look. We need to get whatever ranch is, strawberry jelly, chocolate spread, milk and eggs. 
Garden peas. Milk and eggs. Strawberry jelly, chocolate spread. Get honey also. Okay, got milk and eggs. What are you doing? I'm missing the best part. There's nothing I can do, bro. Hey, son, do you work here? No, I'm just here for shopping. Uh, okay, son. Why? Uh, my son likes mustard. I came here uh, looking for it, but I can't find it. For the life of me. Uh, do you know where it is? Oh, how nice of you. I'll be right over here. Mustard. That's coffee. Peanut butter. That could be chocolate spread. Yeah, it's chocolate spread. Did you find the mustard? Let's see what else. Ranch. What the heck is ranch, dude? Chocolate spray, milk and eggs. That's all we have right now. Garden peas, get honey. Rice. Uncle Tony's only. Ketchup. I think we walk past the ketchup. So we got ketchup. I think I'll get myself some potato chips. And speaking of the devil, Turner and Andy, where's your mark? Bro, your girl was here. Uh, she just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something. Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh, he hopped to that other chick so quickly. I didn't even realize. I don't listen to him. But dude, she brought tons of tons of cans. I think she's uh, throwing like a party or something. Uh, you know anything about it? Bro. Uh, she looks uh, way older without the uh, the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew. I think uh, she's more like a goth. Goth milf energy. <laughs> when will you grow up? No, no. Are you, are you guys done? Anyways. Uh, dude, what are you doing tonight? Uh, just chilling. A house sitting for this guy in the Carson. Uh, uh, just give me one second. You met Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kid's a really weirdo. A real weirdo. Especially since his parents split up. Whatever fills my pocket I'm in for. Alright dude. Uh, see you at school on Monday then. Uh, see you around, Andy. Honestly, I'm not finding anything. Mm. 
That's the peas, right? So we need rice, strawberry jelly. Strawberry jelly. And rice. There's rice. Uncle Tony's only. Uncle Tony. Okay, so we have... I don't know what ranch is, and strawberry jelly, chocolate spread we have, milk and eggs we have, garden peas we ha I th no it's canned peas right? We have we have canned peas. Get honey. That I must probably will have to look at someone shopping. Garden peas. It is garden peas. So we have garden peas. Uh, I think we have the rice also and ketchup. So it's just honey, ranch, and strawberry jelly. I mean, strawberry jelly should be canned, so it should be here, I think. I don't know what ranch is. No, wait. Yeah, I think I need to do some research what ranch is. I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay, I don't know where the location is, but I saw it's like a orange-ish can. Oh, it's it's the honey we need. Okay, now we like. 
on the list, I think it's only ranches left, right? We have, I think we have strawberry jelly, chocolate spread, milk and eggs, garden peas, get honey, uh, rice, ketchup. I think it's now just ranch. Fuck this game. No, I'm kidding. Oops. My finger slipped. Thank you. That caused just a little bit of cancer, but you know, let's go. Thanks for shopping. Turn around. Dude, one full and everything is on the floor. I just did this guy's month shopping. That's how it feels like, at least. You said basic chores, bro. Okay, we're right next to the house. I had to pee again. And I feel a little hungry. Honey, I'm home. Where's the uh, bathroom again? I mean, there's one upstairs, so... I think that's where the upstairs is. So what, we're, su we're supposed to just do our homework now, I think. Whoa, Andy, chill. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now.
Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats uh, from angry fans of his ex-wife. Co-founder of BN Media, allegedly receiving death threats. Hunter News, it's not usual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown uh, for the for the rumoring ident what uh, infidelity uh, that we're about within said relationship. Sources say that Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet. Hunter News is actively trying to reach out uh, to her. So you, the reader uh, stays updated with the situation. Subscribe now, dude. Is that the pizza guy? Is it your delivery for uh, one medium pizza uh, deep uh, depart sir you must be at the wrong address this is uh, 224 right that's correct order by the name of um, Roy Carson Here. Thank you. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain is over? It's probably not very safe uh, to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat. This is not my house. I understand you can just say no. Well, you have a good day, sir. Okay. You know, this game really loves to eat, dude. Eat and drink. Oh, everything's okay. How are you doing your work? Look out for uh, some pizza. It would arrive any minute now. Enjoy. If you tell me what that radius of two squared is, I'll think about sparing you. My name is Jack Bardax. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Can I use the bathroom?
Who is it? Dude, I'm still eating my pizza. Can we get this noise out of our ears? I'm the toilet man. Come over here. I'm the toilet. I'm in the toilet. I'm in the toilet man. I'm the toilet man. We're supposed to go do our homework, dude. Someone was at the door. Yeah, but I said ignore it. Plus minus know where she is. Because I saw her move. But we never saw anything again. Okay, can we do our homework now? There was something at the door, I have to check. it nailed it bro
Okay, can I do homework now? Unknown text? Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Unknown sender? I assumed it was the wrong number. It was strange, but I dismissed uh, the thought of a weird coincidence and moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. One thirty six AM? What did we fall asleep while doing homework? And while I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Bro, there's still lights on, so How are you? Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine. If you are gonna be like that, I uh, don't need you anyways. I thought it's so much hotter anyways. Who are you? I just knew, okay, besides him and Andy were the only people I knew I was in the house. Uh, sitting alone. Opening doors is strong in this game, dude. Suddenly cold outside. I had to be- what? Uh, he was really starting to, uh, starting to piss me off now. Zeker was acting weird. I think I heard footsteps upstairs. Looking for pizza? It should arrive any minute now. I don't know what we're supposed to do now. Getting out of the message here. You said we'd stay friends. Uh, Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. I heard movement.
What, the music is just gone. Now it's so loud again. I have to get it back to my schoolwork. Strange feeling about the situation. Oh, this place is trashed. The door is open. Dude, is that a knife I'm hearing? The oven is on. I could swear in my life I didn't turn on the oven. Um, well, it would be weird if it did. We're upstairs. I had to go down and check. Sounds like it sounds like someone using a piano wants to get killed right now. Uh, Loki, it made me very uncomfortable uh, knowing that he was in the house. I had to com uh, conf comfort him. I didn't like his contact. But I can only ask Andy. Can you send me a uh, turn his contact? Ask him to quit missing. He's missing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. I was aware I have a tendency of being okay. Uh, the only logical thing that I can act in time was to keep an eye on the, the security monitor. No. So this is what you'll do in this situation right here. Okay. You'll double check. No. Oh, I should have called the cops. Yeah. You'll double check on the dog. See if the dog is reacting because the dog was reacting weird. We're at the door. You open this door, you go to the dog and right there you just phone the cops. While standing by the dog. Or 
going into the dog uh, dog house. Chilling with the dog in the dog house. But no, not in not in games, bro. Not in games, not in movies. You have to walk with your flashlight all the way to watch the security cameras. I hear footsteps. Dude, wait, did you check out the article? It was it was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. I hear breathing, dude. I felt my heart skip a beat. I froze staring at the screen like a pure horror. Hello. Dude, she has a knife in her hand. So it was right outside the door of my room I was in. Noah? Noah? Are you in there? I really miss you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always uh, treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. At least she is not a junkie, no? It's different with her, no? This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know, I could turn you in to the police for this. Do it. And I will fucking kill both of you. I... I gotta remain quiet. If I can't have you. No one else should.
What? My phone went off, right? Or was it the dogs barking? I hope it's not a dog barking because we have quite a bit of that. She walked here at the bottom. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, dude. The load back is so far away. Listen, you, you're a knife. Text Andy.
Dog's about to bark again soon. Doors open. Okay, hopefully we don't die again here. Okay, so I made it so I can talk. The game is not picking up my microphone anymore. Am I still supposed to do something? Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I can talk and the mic doesn't pick it up. It's just I'm scared the dogs are barking and then I get seen. Because I think that might have been what happened. not here right now. Please leave a name and number. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I left the house and ran down the block. 
My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she was already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I, I met on a dating site. And was three years older than me. But I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into the relationship, she started doing meth. I tried to get her help, but she turned into it, she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops uh, she didn't intend on going any uh, on doing anything wrong with that night. But of course, the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed, it showed everything. Uh, from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing was uh, that, uh, but, but the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Well, there you go. There's episode three. So if it does well, we'll uh, continue on. Episode 1 and 2 did pretty good, so... We'll see how episode 3 does. If it does well, you know... I think there's two more episodes left, if I'm not mistaken. But guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.